live streaming from the Hotel Victor in Victor Harbour, South Australia. This is the 2019 Great Southern Football League's male medal count. I'd like to welcome tonight Terry Corcoran as our new president. He's taken over from Gordon Tonkin to come along and kick the evening off. So thanks, Terry. Thank you, Kevin, and thank you for what looks like going to be a really good night tonight. Um, firstly, I'd like to make, this, make you aware that this is an official meeting of the GSFL, and uh, it's the... Just move this up. All right. Sorry about that. I'm not used to microphones. Um, yeah, and it's an official meeting of the GSFL, and uh, tonight's male medal count and presentation evening. So. I welcome you all. It's good to see the, the numbers that are up and uh, looking very strong. We've got some special guests I'd like to uh, uh, welcome to as well. We've got from the Sandford, we've got uh, Matt Doldick and uh, Scott Patchy and uh, also uh, some of our sponsors, Mark Bolton from, from uh, Telstra, um, the boys from Polaro Milk as well, um, Sports Centre, Chris Swanson is here, Southern Argus, Perry Jones, Victor Harbour Times, Jack Manning. Uh, and also from the Sunday Mail, we've got Scott Walsh representing the Sunday Mail. From South Adelaide Football Club, we've got Andrew English and Jared Wright, the coach. And also that, uh, that very quiet person, John Griffin, is the ambassador of the South Adelaide. Welcome, Griff. No show without Griff. Um, also from the Southern Football League, I'd like to welcome Craig Warman, the president, and Malcolm Martin, the secretary. From the umpires panel, Roy Webb, the president, Ian Curran and David Curran from the executive, and Jason Edwards, the senior coach. Um, representatives from the, G, uh, the Netball Association are here as well. I'd like to welcome them as well. I'm sorry I haven't got a name for the ladies that have arrived, but we'll recognise them. Um, life members, Kevin Curran and his wife Julie, Herman Lucas and his wife Sue, Neville Miller and his wife... I've just forgotten that. And I, Heather. Uh, I only just met her. Terry Thompson. He didn't bring Trish tonight, so that's okay. Trevor and Deb Pryor and Gordon Tonkin. And also Cole Neckers, who's also the league patron again. Well done, Cole. Thank you for coming. Along with that, we've got uh, the Tribunal Commissioners, Bob Bache, Ken Rouge and Gordon Tonkin. Um, Bob Bache is also here with his lovely wife, Jan. Thank you for coming, Jan. Uh, from the uh, GSFL Executive, Kevin Curran, Herman Lucas, Andrew Batten, Kim Sewell and David Winner here as well. So thank you very much for all the work you've done, guys. It's been a great help. Uh, from the GSFL Women's, we've got Grant Levy and Andrew Batten again. And we've also got our open, Women's Open winner of the, of the medal uh, in uh, Courtney Barry. So I'd like to welcome Courtney, who's sitting over there with the Victor Harbour crew. Uh, also tonight's being live streamed by Happy FM. I'd like to thank them for what they've done this year with live streaming. And tonight's uh, effort will probably go... Uh, fairly close. I know my son's in Canada at the moment watching it and probably laughing his head off. Um, club officials and selectors and players and guests, I'd like to welcome you all here tonight and hopefully it's a fantastic night for you all. I'd like to uh, also uh, pass on apologies from a couple of people. Andrew Smith and Luke Deegan from Lyon West End, Lynn Cowling from the Great Southern Netball Association and Neil Sharp from South Adelaide Football Club along with Peter O'Shaughnessy, who just rang just a while ago. He's not well and apologises and wish you all the best for tonight. Uh, just bear with me for one sec. Again, welcome to the Victor Harbour Footy Club for the 2019 Great Southern Football League Male Medal and Presentation Dinner. What a great year this has been. We've had... Uh, We've witnessed a season that's let, that is leading up to the, the finals. It shows us that there'll be a fantastic final series 
because we had up to eight clubs vying for the final five with about six weeks to go. And uh, Strath Album unfortunately just missed out from it. They were, had a great run home and uh, the final five was set on the last game of the day. I'd like to congratulate... Uh, uh, hang on, I've just lost my space, sorry, I beg your pardon. I suggest that we're in for another finals, exciting final series. It's fantastic to see a number of clubs represented over all grades. I congratulate all ten clubs of the league for the great work they've done to promote their club and their communities that they represent. The Great Southern Football League is the envy of most South Australian country zones and the credit goes to you clubs alone. Well done. 2019 in the Great Southern Football League A-grade competition has been a very competitive one again, as I've said, and the quality of football that the teams have produced has been exceptional, which I'm sure will prove one, to be one of the great final series again. Junior competition again has also remains very strong, despite some clubs having to be continued with challenges to with player numbers due to population spread. But I know that the clubs that have been in that situation are coming, to, uh, getting better by the year and looking forward to a total four-team competition next year. Junior football and GSFL remain strong despite the clubs having no super problems, but the Junior Academy has been one of the main factors that has helped with junior football to flourish under the direction of David Wynn and Brian Munn Johnny Griffin, Michael Simmons and the first year coach Joel Docking. The academy con continues to show results, although they didn't win the association game against Southern this year um, because of uh, the size of the boys that they produced in Southern, which were quite big. But well done to Southern for that particular win. But uh, I think that with the planning that's been put in place for next year, there will be hopefully a different result next year. The extra work is starting to show improvements at club level and if you, any witness to the under-12s carnival this weekend, I was amazed at some of the skills that the under-12s showed even. Uh, there's some great kicking and great skills and great plays by all those teams that participated this weekend and I'm looking forward to the finals in the next couple of weeks. The South Adelaide Football Club is a pathway to the AFL and the AFLW and I'm sure this will continue to see, will continue to see more players from both the men's and the women's competition being drafted to South Adelaide and then and beyond. Last year we saw two players from the Great Southern Football League via South Adelaide being picked up in the AFL draft, being Jake Tarker from Encounter Bay and Nathan Kruger from Victor Harbour and hopefully more footballers, both male and female, will follow suit. The women's competition continues to blow everyone's expectations out of the water. Again this year we had a fantastic extended competition this year going to 14 home and away games with a final four in both the open and the women's and the under 16's competitions which culminated in the grand final being held at McLaren Vale Oval. A huge crowd with an excess of 1700 people came and attended the, and witnessed what the, Str the Strathalbyn Football Club and the Willunga under 16s being successful going back to back premiers in both cases. The, the emergence of the other clubs has shown me that the, this will be, they won't be that far off from competing in the finals next year and possibly knocking the other top guys off the, off the top of the ladder. They're replacing these two power clubs, but the, the expansion uh, has helped with eight teams competing. We've even had girls from uh, Kangaroo Island come through via the Yankalilla Football Club, which has been great. Con congratulations also to the under-13s competition. The skill that these sh girls are showing in the early stage of their football career is, is being amazing also. The development over the last three years is finally showing you some great skills and I, w I can't wait to see them in four or five years' time when they're playing open football. Congratulations to Courtney Barry of Victor Harbour Football Club winning the Open Women's Medal, best and fairest, and also to Bridie Nye from Willunga, who won the Under-16s medal for the Under-16s competition. Also, congratulations to the association team, by, who were led ably by Kaifa Zohar 
from the McLaren Football Club, who defeated the Southern Football League in winning the back-to-back -back Jan Beige Cup. Also to Therese Turner from Wollonga, who won the Best on the Field medal that day. The girls then teamed up with the South Australian, Southern Football League, I should say, to compete in the Southern South Australian Country Championships held at Port Perry in July. After being runners-up in 2018, they were successful and won the state championships, which was fantastic. Also to Kaifa Zoha, who was their coach, being named coach of the championships. Congratulations to Kaifa and all those involved. A personal thank you to Grant Levy, chairperson of the Great Southern Football League Women's, and Andrew Batten, the secretary of the Great Southern Football Women's, for their tireless efforts to assist the women's football in the Great Southern Football League. Well done, Grant and Andrew. I'd also like to acknowledge the men's Great Southern football team who were successful in uh, taking back the Barry Pilmore trophy. We won two anyway, Craig. And uh, that was a great game of football from both, both the Southern Football League and the Great Southern Football League. But uh, on the day, the Great Southern got the trophy. Then they went on to Port Pirie. They weren't quite as successful there, but with a bit more work and a bit more... Uh, attendance from better players in the league as well. It would be great. We want to build the association and zone football up. I'd also like to thank uh, uh, Jamie, or actually congratulate Jamie, uh, sorry, uh, Tyson Hoffman, I nearly said his father's name, this shows my age. Tyson Hoffman for being selected in the uh, championship teams and then on going to the South Australian Country Championships, representing South Australia against West Australia at Optus Oval in Perth. Well done, Jamie. Uh, I just said again, well done, Tyson. I'd like to congratulate the Victor Harbour Football Club for their fabulous facilities that they've developed in conjunction with the RSL, along with the yet-to-be-completed grandstand refurbishment. When that's completed, I think it's going to look fantastic. And uh, the rooms certainly uh, are going to be... Uh, if you go to the rooms, the visitors' rooms and the and the home team, they are very state-of-the-art. They are setting the standard, along with clubs like Strathalbyn, for their quality improvements that will take the club well into the future. I would also like to acknowledge the Wollonga Football Club are in the process of developing the new change room facility, which is in, will be in readiness hopefully for round one next year. The old change rooms, which were built in 1904, I think, have finally fell apart last week and uh, with a little bit of help from some of the club's members. But uh, a little bit of history has moved on for, a bit for the future and I think it'll be great when they're finished. And then we've got Gorwell Port Elliot who've now got a, 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 a council approval for plans for their extension. So it all goes well. The, the league will share in club room facilities, state of the art, best in the state. And I'm looking forward to that as well. Thank you to the umpires panel and the executive for the work they do with over 150 umpires each week, with over 6,000 appointments over the year, uh, uh, and with looking after three leagues in both men's and women's football. On Saturdays and Sundays, some of the umpires have been doing it, so it's no mean feat. The Combined Southern Football League umpires panel is one of the largest panels in the state, and we should be very proud of that. In closing, I'd like to thank my Great Southern Football League executive, Kevin Curran and Herman Lucas, Andrew Batten, David Wynn and Kim Saul for their tireless work uh, that they've done all year round. In my first year as Great Southern Football League president, they've been of great assistance to me. I'd also like to thank past president Gordon Tonkin for being my counsel during the year when I have a problem. He's always picked up the phone. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for taking my calls, Gordy, and I uh, appreciate all the advice you've given me. I'd like, I'm looking forward to tonight's medal counts for both the reserves and the A grade. I congratulate all the winners tonight and all the trophy recipients and all the players that are here tonight. You've, you've helped enhance a great football league. It's your, you, the players, and the club volunteers that make this league so strong. Enjoy tonight. 
and good luck to all the clubs competing in the finals. Thank you. We'll now take a break, enjoy your course and we'll catch up with you in a little while. Thank you. We'll now go to an important part of the evening. We'd like to uh, introduce Kevin Curran who's going to present the player life membership. We have four players tonight to receive life membership and Kevin's going to do a little bit of a screed on each one of them. Thank you. Okay, thanks Terry, you're right, we have got four of them tonight that have all played 225 A-grade games or more, as well as association matches and uh, zone games. The first one we've got here is Brad Haskett. He was born into a football family. Grandfather Horace was captain of Wollonga and played in seven premiership sides. Father Richard in the 70s contributed a great deal off the field. Brad started playing junior Colts in 1998 and played a total of 95 Colts games before going to Sturt where he played under 17s, under 19s and reserves from 2003 until 2006. In 2006 he was Wollonga's best first year player and won the Team Man Awards for the club. Brad is a four time premiership player and is captain Wollonga A grade. Brad uh, work took Brad to the South East in 2015 and 16 where he coached and played for Hatherley. Brad is an, is an important member of the Wollonga Football Club and contributes a great deal both on and off the field. Last week he's played his 232nd game in the Great Southern League which includes association zone and state representation. In total, Brad has played 323 A-grade games. So we'd like to call to present this to, to Brad. I think we can get Ken Ruge. So long to do this, please. He's a player life member, so Ken, can you come forward, please? Um, yeah, just quickly, thanks to uh, the Wollonga Football Club and obviously the Great Southern Football League just for uh, giving me the opportunity to play in such a, uh, a really good league. Um, yeah, really short. Thank you very much. The next one we got is uh, another Wollonga player and this one's Marcus Burdett. Marcus came to South Australia in 2001 and played for Port Adelaide Reserves and Senior Sides and slowly worked his way south into the SNFL, moving first to Glenelg and then South Adelaide and finally in 2007 to the GSFL and played for Mount Compass. He went to Mount Compass to join his girlfriend Taryn who was a star netballer at the Mount Compass Netball Club. Marcus played 65 games for Mount Compass and won the mile medal at that club in 2007. Marcus joined the Wollonga Football Club in 2012, has been four times runner-up best and fairest. A premiership win has eluded him so far. He contributes a great deal on and off the field and is a fine example to younger players. During his illustrious career, Marcus has represented league, zone and state in both Victoria and in South Australia. His total senior game so far is 372. 
Marcus, this year Marcus passed the required names, uh, the required number of games to achieve player life membership of the Great Southern Football League. So congratulations to Marcus Burdett. We got Terry Thompson to present the award, please. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, I guess uh, just like both, I'd like to um, thank the, uh, I guess, first of the um, Mount Compass Football Club uh, for getting me into the Great Southern Football League. Uh, yeah, I spent um, uh, about four years with, with that club and enjoyed the four years there. So uh, thanks to them. And then uh, obviously, yeah, currently, you know, been at Wollonga for quite some time now. And, uh, you know, it's been been great period during my football career. Um, and yeah, I guess yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone else who's who's helped me out through the way, and um, good luck to everyone in the finals and in uh, male medals tonight. Thanks. Well, the next person in, person is from Goolwa, Port Elliot, and that is Trent Griffin. Trent has been a one-club player wearing the black and white from a young age. At the Goolwa Port Elliot Football Club, Trent is considered as Mr Reliable and his resilience and consistency has made him a valuable asset to the side. His one and only, his, his on uh, one ability and kicking skills have made him a highlight from a young age. Trent is a life member of the Goolwa Port Elliot Football Club, where he has won a long list of individual awards. He has captained the club, represented South Adelaide and the GSFL at junior level and now joins his brother Travis as a Great Southern Player Life member. His total match tally is 235 A grades, 17 reserves, 62 senior Colts and 52 junior Colts, making a total of 366 games for the Goolwa Port Elliot Football Club. I'd like to ask Gordon Tompkin, please, to make the presentation. Well done, Trent. Thank you. Uh, I would just like to um, thank the Gore Football Club for the opportunity to play at that club um, my whole career. Uh, it's been a pretty sad career, really. I haven't uh, had too much success, but hopefully we can hang on for another year next year and. Um, Maybe that might happen, so cheers, Gore. And the final one that we've got here is Brendan Saunders from the Langhorne Creek Football Club. That's what they say, Brendan Saunders, or Chicken, as he is affectionately known, started his junior footy with Strathalban and was a junior Colts premiership player for the Roosters. He joined the Hawks to play senior Colts at the start of the 2004 season and has been a dedicated member of the Langhorne Creek Football Club ever since. He was a key member of the Hawks senior Colts premiership in 2005 and won the Langhorne Creek Football Club Colts best and fairest in 2006. He made his A-grade debut for Langon Creek in 2004 as a 15-year-old on the 22nd of May 2004 when the Hawks took on Victor Harbour at Langon Creek. Since then he has played every season of his senior football for the club and missed only a handful of games. When he began his senior football, he played mainly in the ruck on the half-forward flank, but in recent times he has developed a reputation as a dependable and miserly full-back. Down at full back, he has often had his hands full with some of the GSFL star forwards, but despite often giving away inches of height and a few kilos, he always holds his own. Undoubtedly, the highlights of his senior career have been the three A-grade premierships 
for Langon Creek, which were 2011, 2012 and 2018. At an individual level, his strong form was acknowledged with selection in the GSFL team in 2012 and also in the squad for the Southern District Zone team that year, but unfortunately he was forced to withdraw from the country championships due to injury. He is admired, respected by his teammates and the broader Langhorne Creek community for his dedication to the club. He is a fantastic role model both on and off the field for the younger players through his leadership and commitment. He is due to play his 250th senior match for the Hawks in the first week of the finals and will also earn him life membership of the Langhorne Creek Football Club. So far he has played 238 A grade, 12 reserves, 36 senior Colts which as a total of 286 games. So congratulations to you, Brendan Saunders. <laughs> I'd like to ask Neville Miller to make the presentation first. First of all, I'd just like to thank whoever wrote that speech. Um, and there's a couple of things that have changed over the years. I still give away a bit of height, but not too many kilos un anymore, unfortunately. Um, and I'd like to thank the Land Creek Footy Club uh, for always welcoming me over the years. And uh, hopefully I'll carry on for a little bit longer, even though it's getting harder. <laughs> and uh, thanks for having me a part of this great footy league, probably the uh, best country footy league in SR, I reckon. Cheers. Well done. Now we come to another part of the evening where we present um, live membership. For many years this person has been involved in the junior side of the Great Southern Football. He began his er in the early 90s as manager of the Mini Colts who were involved with South Adelaide at half-time matches at Football Park and Adelaide Oval over a couple of times a year. Then became involved with the running of the Mini Colt Carnival in Encounter Bay when all clubs played on the one venue, taking over from Neville Miller in 1998. In latter years, since the carnival has been split over ten ven two venues, this has become a much bigger job and is played over three days. The person I'm talking about is Kim Sewell. Kim has also been involved with the under-15 and then the under-17 association sides for the last 14 years and at times team manager and selector. These junior teams have been very successful over the years. Kim has always been a person willing to help out during the finals, doing any jobs that we ask him to do, such as interchange steward over in several days and other unnoticed things which must be done to make these days work smoothly. The whole, Kim, the whole time Kim was involved with the junior football and the associate, he washed the association shorts, socks, and any other thing that was dirty at that time was washed. And uh, Kim told me that uh, he did it all, but I think Margie helped him pretty well. <laughs> his involvement has been close to 30 years and is worthy of being awarded a life membership of the Great Southern Football League. Congratulations, Kim. I'm not a very good speaker, so I, I enjoy, I've been enjoying football for that long. I love all the, everything, so I am enjoy, I've always been, always Victor Harbour Football Club before, so I'll always follow Victor a bit, 
So I'm always involved with everything with junior footy. I love my junior stuff. So thank you, everybody. Our next award for life membership is a very important one, and I'd like to ask. <laughs> I'd like to ask Herman Lucas to come up to uh, announce the winner of the life membership award. Thanks, Corks. Um, this one is a very special one to all of us, especially the people that have been on the league for, uh, for quite a few years. Um, the next person to be presented, um, life membership of the Great Southern Football League, undertook the, the, an official position in the league in 1978. Coincidentally, that's the same year that Langholz Creek Football Club got involved in the Great Southern League. This person undertook the position of assistant secretary to the league. There was no job description and the job was purely voluntarily. Um, it was just as well as there was not a, uh, sorry, it was just as well that there was not a job description as the person themselves also involved, was, was had to also involved themselves in the washing of three sets of jumpers, shorts, socks and various, at various association games. Um, and then doing, and doing this again on Saturday night and Tuesdays following the June long weekend Love Lock Shield. I think I might put my glasses on. I thought I'd be real good. Sorry. Okay, well, we can only get better. Shall I start again? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, where was I? Okay, it was just as well there was not a job description as the person found themselves also involved in washing up to three sets of jumpers and shorts and socks at various association games. And doing, doing this again Saturday nights and Tuesdays following the then June long weekend Lovelock Shoe Games. That person is of course Judy Curran. Judy, Judy held this position until 2018 when the Assistant Secretary position was passed on to and Andrew Batten. Can you still hear that? On to Andrew Batten, who at that stage had been appointed the Secretary of the Great Southern Women's Football. Judy had done the job for 40 years, okay? Long time. In the early days, all clearances were handled manually and needed signing off by the League Secretary or the Assistant Secretary, so they could be forwarded on as quickly as possible to achieve the clearance at their required time. Hence it was important that one of these people were always available to be contacted. In these times, Judy especially took uh, looked forward to the Thursday nights before the first game. Uh, people were knocking on the door, bringing in last minute registration forms for players so they were able to play on the Saturday. Processing these with three young children around was a bit of a challenge. During these times, Judy was always home on Saturday evenings by 5.30 to write up the scores of all grades with best players, goal kickers and quarter by quarter scores of all matches. Judy would then phone the Sunday Mail and read the information to typists to ensure it would be entered in the paper the following day. Judy did this job for 20 years. At one stage, Victor Harbour Times wanted to increase their football coverage and gave the GSFL the required space to do so. But they also wanted someone from the league to write these, to do the write-ups. Judy spent many Sundays uh, after the matches and writing up, mat the, writing up the notes and club notes to deliver them uh, to the Victor Harbour Times early 
Monday morning as, as was required, ready for print. Some years ago, Judy, uh, sorry, some years ago, Judy was known to say, thank God for the fax machines, when well, they've become part of our, all of our lives. Over this period of time, Judy undertook many of the other jobs for the GSL, such as taking phone calls and messages, many from me, <laughs> banking, big money, posting letters, organising middle nights, and finally, and, uh, sorry, and, and finals was the norm. One actually wonders what Kevin did during this time. <laughs> as, as well as raising three kids and driving them around to various sports activities as mums, all mums do, Judy was secretary of the Back Valley Tennis Club for nine years. Then she undertook 22 years as president of that club. And to round it all off, undertook eight years as president of the Great Southern Tennis Association. Judy is a life member of the Great Southern Tennis Association the Encounter Bay Football Club, the Encounter Bay Netball Club, and also ran the Encounter Bay Football Club canteen for 16 years. I believe that Judy was asked, uh, she would tell us that she loved every minute of it, and uh, if she did not, she wouldn't have done it. Judy, on behalf of everybody here, I would like to sincerely thank you and congratulate you on your life membership of the GSFL. because Kevin was always umpiring, so Saturday was my day to take the kids everywhere for football and we catch up at night. Um, and I stay all day. And of course, yeah, I was involved with Encounter Bay at that stage. Um, I've always been involved at Encounter Bay in some capacity, and I did run the county for 15 or 16 years with, with Leslie Rumbelow, who, um, who was sitting, I can see. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Leslie. Um, but no, you do, I don't know, you do jobs because you love them. I've always loved the football. I've always loved being involved with the football league. I love South Adelaide and I love Geelong. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got, um, I've got some, um, yeah, a lot of favourite players, a lot of favourite players. And, uh, and I've had much pleasure in, in going to watch Marcus play this year at the, at Sacred Heart and, and with South Adelaide. And so, um, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to, to watching him in the future, and um, and our involvement as we're getting older. The, the time will come when um, when we will have to retire eventually. So um, I'd just like to say thank you for to all the friendships I've made over the years um, in the football league through with all the clubs. Um, I think I know. I think I have a fair, probably fairly good rapport with with most clubs and. Um, and I'm always happy to do anything that, that we can. So um, I'm just so flabbergasted. I really can't think of anything else. But thank everybody for um, all their support to, to us over the years. Thank you.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I'd just like to add, thank you, Herman, for that uh, very detailed speech uh, and to, uh, to just advise that uh, the, the glass ceiling has been broken because Julie is the first woman to be honoured with the life membership for the Great Southern Football League. Well done. We'll have an ask, another little break uh, for your main course and then we'll get into the voting for the reserves medal. Thank you. OK, ladies and gentlemen, if you could take, please take your seats and we'll start the uh, reserves medal count. Thank you. Round one, Yankulilla versus Maiponga Selix. One vote, Benjamin Paulbrook. Two votes, Ashley Wiley, that's from Yankalilla, the first one. Ashley Wiley from My Ponga Selix, and three votes, Jai Thompson from My Ponga Selix. Victor Harbour versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Jordan Bonsack, Victor Harbour. Two votes, Strathalbyn, Chris Smith. And three votes, Tanner Coulthard from Strathalbyn. Langhorn Creek versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Dylan Mason, Encounter Bay. Two votes, Rob Lyon from Langhorn Creek. And three votes, Phil Cleggett from Langhorn Creek. Wollonga versus Mount Compass. One vote, Paul Wakefield from Wollonga. Two votes, Sam McGowan from Wollonga. And three votes, Matthew Thomas from Wollonga. Gula Port Elliot versus McLaren. One vote, Sam Bentley from McLaren. Two votes, Shane Bailey from Gula Port Elliot and three votes, Evan Williams from McLaren. Round two, Maiponga Selix versus Wollonga. One vote, Lachlan Scott Wollonga. Two votes, Ben Hutchison from Maiponga Selix and two votes, Harrison Mills Wollonga. Encounter Bay versus Yankalilla. One vote, Matthew James Yankalilla. Two votes, Dylan Mason Encounter Bay and three votes, Douglas Jones Yankalilla. Mount Compass versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Alan Wheatra, Victor Harbour. Two votes, Nicholas Barrett, Mount Compass. And three votes, Reese Evans, Mount Compass. Strathalbyn versus Goua Port Elliot. One vote, Joshua Maloney, Strathalbyn. Two votes, Chris Smith, Strathalbyn. And three votes, Braden Ray, Goua Port Elliot. McLaren versus Langon Creek. One vote, Sam Johnson. From Langhorne Creek, two votes, Seven Williams, McLaren, and three votes, Braden Dunlop from McLaren. Round three, Langhorne Creek versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Simon Grosvenor, Langhorne Creek, two votes, Mitch Taylor, Strathalbyn, and three votes, Todd Delator from Langhorne Creek. Wollonga versus Mount McLaren. One vote, Wollonga, Maddock Williams, two votes, McLaren, John Atty and three votes, McLaren, Heath, Lambert. Victor Harbour versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Victor Harbour, Alan Wheatra. Two votes, Encounter Bay, Noah Rose. And three votes, Encounter Bay, Rory Davis. Yankalilla versus Goolwa Port Elliot. One vote, Jared Madden from Goolwa Port Elliot. Two votes from Yankalilla, Michael Crisp. And three votes from Yankalilla, Douglas Jones. Mount Compass versus My Ponga Selix. One vote, Mount Compass, Nicholas Barrett. Two votes, Mount Compass, Samuel Scuds. And three votes, Mount Compass, James Scuds. Round four, McLaren versus Mount Compass. One vote, Mount Compass, Daniel Thusens. Two votes, Mount Compass, Reese Evans. And three votes, Samuel Bentley from McLaren. Goolwa Port Elliot versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Goolwa Port Elliot, Braden Ray. Two votes from Victor Harbour, Clifford Wheatra. And three votes, Victor Harbour, Tyson Levy. Encounter Bay versus Wollonga. One vote, Encounter Bay, Jack Kirk. Two votes, Wollonga, Joel Docking. And three votes from Wollonga, Simon Roberts. Yankalilla versus Langhorne Creek. One vote, Yankalilla, Chris Clark. Two votes, Langhorne Creek, Alexander Lyon. 
and three votes, Yankalilla, Douglas Jones. By Ponga Selix versus Strathalbyn. One vote, my Ponga Selix, Daniel Taylor. Two votes, my Ponga Selix, Ben Hutchison, uh, Ben Hamilton. And three votes, my Ponga Selix, Adrian Pulse. Round five. Wollonga versus Yankalilla. One vote, Wollonga, Sam McGowan. Two votes, Wollonga, Matt Thomas. And three votes, Wollonga, Daniel Lee. Langhor Creek versus Goor Port Elliot. One vote, Langhorn Creek, Rupert Verco. Two votes, Langhorn Creek, Alexander Lyon. And three votes, Langhorn Creek, Simon Grosvenor. Strath versus McLaren. One vote, Strath Alban, Aaron Manuel. Two votes, McLaren, Daniel Carl. And three votes, McLaren, John Atty. Mount Compass versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Mount Compass, Rhys Evans. Two votes, Encounter Bay, Robert Nelson. And three votes, Mount Compass, Thomas Mills. Victor Harbour versus Maiponga Selix. One vote, Victor Harbour, James Mulhern. Two votes, Victor Harbour, Tyson Levy. And three votes, Victor Harbour, Heath Trelaw. Round six, Strathalbyn versus Mount Compass. One vote, Mount Compass, Rhys Evans. Two votes, Mount Compass, Declan Mayer. And three votes, Strathalbyn, Mitch Taylor. Gulwa Port Elliot versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Gulwa Port Elliot, Jesse Consalvo. Two votes, Gulwa Port Elliot, Peter Elliot. And three votes, Gulwa Port Elliot, Jared Madden. Victor Harbour versus Yankalilla. One vote for Victor Harbour, Tyson Levy. Two votes, Victor Harbour, Mitchell McCrosty. And three votes, Victor Harbour, Kane Cooper. My Ponga Selix versus McLaren. One vote, My Ponga Selix, Kane Andrew Arthur. Two votes, My Ponga Selix, Adrian Pulse. And three votes, McLaren, John Atty. Langhorn Creek versus Wollonga. One vote, Langhorn Creek, Sam Johnson. Two votes, Wollonga, Daniel Lee. And three votes, Wollonga, Jonathan Cook. Round seven. Wollonga versus Gulwa Port Elliot. One vote, Gulwa Port Elliot, Ryan Bridges. Two, two votes, Wollonga, Maddock Williams. And three votes, Wollonga, Daniel Lee. Yankalilla versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Yankalilla, Adam Hunt. Two votes, Yankalilla, Douglas Jones. And three votes, Strathalbyn, Mitch Taylor. McLaren versus Victor Harbour. One vote, McLaren, Braden Dunlop. Two votes, McLaren, William Gomer. And three votes, McLaren, Ear White. Encounter Bay versus My Ponga Selix. One vote, My Ponga Selix, Adrian Polst. Two votes, Encounter Bay, Dylan Mason. And three votes, My Ponga Selix, Ben Hutchinson. Mount Compass versus Langon Creek. One vote, Langon Creek, Gavin McHughes. Two votes, Mount Compass, Thomas Mills. And three votes, Mount Compass, Rhys Evans. Round, eight, eight, round eight. Victor Harbour versus Wollonga. One vote, Wollonga, Oliver Pekillo. Two votes, Wollonga, Joel Docking. And three votes, Wollonga, Andrew Groom. Strathalbyn versus Encounter Bay. One vote in Counter Bay, Robert Nelson. Two votes, Strathalbyn, Michael Kenyon. And three votes, Strathalbyn, Darren Hine. McLaren versus Yankalilla. One vote, McLaren, Leon Groves. Two votes, Yankalilla, Andrew Cook. And three votes, Yankalilla, Douglas Jones. By Ponga Selix versus Langon Creek. One vote, my Ponga Selix, Tyson Thorpe. Two votes by Ponga Selix, Ashley Wiley. And three votes by Ponga Selix, Jack O'Hanlon. Mount Compass versus Gore Port Elliot. One vote, Mount Compass, Craig Merritt. Two votes, Mount Compass, Rhys Zamet. And three votes, Mount Compass, James Scuds. Halfway mark now, round nine. Yankalilla versus Mount Compass. 
One vote, Mount Compass, William Zimmerman. Two votes, Mount Compass, Sean Jensen. And three votes, Mount Compass, Rhys Evans. Langon Creek versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Victor Harbour, Patrick Conti. Two votes, Langon Creek, Alexander Lyon. And three votes, Langon Creek, Simon Grosvenor. Wollonga versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Wollonga, Matthew Thomas, Wollonga. Two votes, Strathalbyn, Matthew Rogers. And three votes, Wollonga, Andrew Paharu. In Cowder Bay versus McLaren. One vote in Cowder Bay, Shay Vermillion. Two votes, McLaren, Leon Groves. And three votes, McLaren, Billy Charler. Gula Port Elliot versus My Ponga Selix. One vote, My Ponga Selix, Joshua Stangroom. Two votes, Gula, Braden Gray. And three votes, My Ponga Selix, Kane, Andrew Arthur. Round 10. My Ponga Selix versus Yankalilla. One vote, My Ponga Selix, Matthew Flintham. Two votes, My Ponga Selix, Daniel McCrow. And three votes, My Ponga Selix, Ryan Haverty. Strathalbyn versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Tyson Levy. Two votes, Matthew Rogers for Strathalbyn. And three votes, Ryan Cannon from Victor Harbour. In Cowder Bay versus Langon Creek. One vote, Langon Creek, Kent Cooper. Two votes in Cowder Bay, Robert Nelson. And three votes, Langon Creek, Thomas Rowe. Mount Compass versus Wollonga. One vote, Wollonga, Damien Smith. Two votes, Mount Compass, Craig Merritt. And three votes, Wollonga, Damien Young. McLaren versus Gulwa Port Elliot. One vote, Gulwa Port Elliot, Jared Madden. Two votes, McLaren, Harrison Evans. And three votes, McLaren, Damien Bradshaw. To round 11. Wollonga versus My Ponga Selix. One vote, Wollonga, Japer McDonald. Two votes, Wollonga, Thomas Neville. And three votes, Wollonga, Jonathan Cook. Bianca Lilla versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Encounter Bay, Andrew Rosler. Two votes, Yankalilla, Douglas Jones. And three votes, Yankalilla, Benjamin McConnell. Victor Harbour versus Mount Compass. One vote, Mount Compass, Jonathan, John Robinson. Two votes, Victor Harbour, Patrick Conti. And three votes to Mount Compass, Samuel Scuds. Gula Port Edit versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Strathalbyn, Angus Pickle. Two votes, Gula Port Elliot, Jared Madden. And three votes, Strathalbyn, Darren Hine. Langhorne Creek versus McLaren. One vote, McLaren, Henry Matthews. Two votes, Langhorne Creek, Kent Cooper. And three votes, Langhorne Creek, Jake Moisey. Round 12, Encounter Bay versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Victor Harbour, Jacob Lewis. Two votes in Cowder Bay, Andrew Rosler. And three votes, Victor Harbour, Cohen Bartlett. Strathalbyn versus Langhorn Creek. One vote, Strathalbyn, Matthew Rogers. Two votes, Strathalbyn, Daniel Ferrer. And three votes, three votes, Langhorn Creek, Daniel Cleggett. McLaren versus Wollonga. One vote, Wollonga, Stephen Jones. Two votes, Wollonga, Reed Colwell. And three votes, McLaren, Eric Hansen. Gulwa Port Elliot versus Yankalilla. One vote, Gulwa Port Elliot, Anthony Chester. Two votes, Yankalilla, Benjamin Pulbrook. And three votes, Yankalilla, Lachlan Whittlesey. My Ponga Selix versus Mount Compass. One vote, My Ponga Selix, Adrian Polst. Two votes, Mount Compass, Reese Evans. And three votes, Mount Compass, Sean Jensen. Round 13. Mount Compass versus McLaren. One vote, McLaren, McLaren, William Gomer. Two votes, McLaren, Henry Matthews. And three votes, McLaren, Jordan Mutton. Victor Harbour versus Gulwa Port Elliot. One vote, Gulwa Port Elliot, Hayden Wilson. 
Two votes, Victor Harbour, Jacob Lewis, and three votes, Victor Harbour, Kane Cooper. Wollonga versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Encounter Bay, Robert Nelson. Two votes, Wollonga, Reed Colwell. And three votes, Wollonga, Sam Tregenza. Langhorn Creek versus Yankalilla. One vote, Langhorn Creek, Jed Rothy. Two votes, Langhorn Creek, Kent Cooper. And three votes, Langhorn Creek, Jamie Hopgood. Strathalbyn versus Maiponga Selix. One vote, Maiponga Selix, Ashley Wiley. Two votes, Strathalbyn, Darren Hine. And three votes to Strathalbyn, Ashley Weckett. Round 14. Yankalilla versus Wollonga. One vote, Yankalilla, Doug Jones. Two votes, Wollonga, Stephen Jones. And three, vo <coughs> three votes, Wollonga, Jared Pike. Gore, Port Elliot versus Langon Creek. One vote, Langon Creek, Bradley McHughes. Two votes, Langon Creek, Daniel Cleggett. And three votes, Langon Creek, Kent Cooper. McLaren versus Strathalbyn. One vote, McLaren, Jared Wilson. Two votes, McLaren, Christian Hansen. And three votes, McLaren, Sam Bentley. In Cowder Bay versus Mount Compass. One vote, Mount Compass, Craig Merritt. Two votes, Mount Compass, William Zimmerman. And three votes, Mount Compass, Cody Connor. My Ponga Selix versus Victor Harbour. One vote, My Ponga Selix, Nick Hutchinson. Two votes, Victor Harbour, Alan Weitra. And three votes, My Ponga Selix, Luke Zevin. Round 15. Mount Compass versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Mount, the one vote Strathalbyn, Matthew Rogers. Two votes, Mount Compass, Craig Merritt. And three votes, Mount Compass, Rhys Evans. Encounter Bay versus Gulwa Port Elliot. One vote, Encounter Bay, Simon Swartz. Two votes, Encounter Bay, Robert Nelson. And three votes, Encounter Bay, Noah Rose. Yankalilla versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Yankalilla, Sam Crawford. Two votes, Yankalilla, Doug Jones. And three votes, Victor Harbour, Ben Basham. McLaren versus Maiponga Selix. One vote, McLaren, Bradley Hill. Two votes, Maiponga Selix, Tyson Thorpe. And three votes, McLaren, John Atty. Mulunga versus Langon Creek. One vote, Langon Creek, Gavin McHughes. Two votes, Wollonga, Reed Colwell. And three votes, Wollonga, Maddock Williams. Round 16. Gua Port Elliot versus Wollonga. One vote, Wollonga, Thomas Neville. Two votes, Wollonga, Damien Young. And three votes, Wollonga, Maddock Williams. Strathalbyn versus Yankalilla. One vote, Yankalilla, Doug Jones. Two votes, Strathalbyn, Darren Hine, and three votes, Strathalbyn, Matthew Rogers. Victor Harbour versus McLaren. One vote, McLaren, John Atty. Two votes, McLaren, Joel Charler. And three votes, McLaren, Braden Dunlop. My Ponga Selix versus Encounter Bay. One vote, My Ponga Selix, Rourke Hendy. Two votes, My Ponga Selix, Adrian Pulse. And three votes by Ponga Selix, Nick Hutchinson. Langhorn Creek versus Mount Compass. One vote, Mount Compass, Reese Zammett. Two votes, Mount Compass, Cody Connor. And three votes, Mount Compass, Craig Merritt. Two rounds to go. This is round 17. Wollonga versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Wollonga, Maddock Williams. Two votes, Wollonga, Sam Tregenza. And three votes, Wollonga, Damien Young. Encounter Bay versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Strathalbyn, Matthew Rogers. Two votes, Strathalbyn, Darren Hine. And three votes, Encounter Bay, Rory Davis. Yankalilla versus McLaren. One vote, McLaren, Max Gill. Two votes, McLaren, Joel Charler. And three votes, McLaren, John Atty. Langhall Creek versus My Ponga Selix. One vote, My Ponga Selix, Adrian Pulse. Two votes, Langhall Creek, Jed Rothy. 
and three votes Langmore Creek, Jake Yard. Goolwa Port Elliot versus Mount Compass. One vote Mount Compass, Rhys Evans. Two votes Mount Compass, David O'Hagan. And three votes Mount Compass, Aidan Brinsons. And this is the last round of votes. Round 18, Mount Compass versus Yankalilla. One vote Mount Compass, Aidan Brinsons. Two votes Mount Compass, David O'Hagan. And three votes Mount Compass, Craig Merritt. Victor Harbour versus Langon Creek. One vote Langon Creek, Jake Yard. Two votes Langon Creek, Jack Follett. And three votes Langon Creek, Jed Rothy. Strathalban versus Wollonga. One vote Wollonga, Sam Tregenza. Two votes Wollonga, Matt Thomas. And three votes Wollonga, Maddock Williams. McLaren versus Encounter Bay. One vote McLaren, Braden Dunlop. Two votes McLaren, Christian Hansen. And three votes McLaren, John Atty. By Ponga Selix versus Gulwa Port Elliot. One vote My Ponga Selix, Tyson Pratt. Two votes My Ponga Selix, Nick Hutchinson. And three votes My Ponga Selix, Ryan Haverty. And that's the votes. So. We have the winner from Yankalilla, Doug Jones, on 20 votes, Reese Evans, 19, 18, John Addy, then followed by Maddock Williams, 13, Darren Hine, 12, and Craig Merritt from Mount Compass, also on 12. Congratulations, and uh, I'll just ask Perry Jones to make his way forward to present the Argus medal. Big one. Um, I don't know about a big one. Uh, first of all, Yankee Little Football Club, best club in the world. Yeah. Thanks to everyone on the table and everybody that made the effort to come. Uh, thanks to everybody in the crowd from the other teams, life members, everybody that came here. Uh, yeah, a couple of years ago I actually retired. Uh, hamstring injuries, getting old and all that. Went out and got fit, decided I'd come back, and uh, I guess this is payoff for caring about my body and getting fit again. So you guys that are thinking about that, do it, it's worth it. Um, yeah, I'm speechless. Um, thank you very much, and again, Yankalilla Football Club, best club in the world. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, Reese. That's uh, a good message to all of us to go and get fit. I might uh, go on the track tomorrow morning. I don't think it'll help. Uh, we'll now award the um, two get leading goal kicker awards. First of all, if I could ask Mark Bolton from Telstra to come forward to present the reserves goal kicking award. And the top goal kicker for the reserves this year was Sean Jensen with 50 goals from Mount Campus Football Club. Yeah, I guess I just wanted to say thank you first and foremost to the Mount Compass Footy Club for having me for the last 10 or so years. I've really enjoyed my time there and will continue to. Uh, thank you again for the coaches and the trainers that get me out on the uh, track each week. And uh, I guess if the players don't kick me the football, I guess I won't get anywhere near it. Um, 
Also, good luck to all the teams in the finals, and I'm sure we'll put on a show. Thank you very much, guys. Tough. And for the A grade, as you know, we had for the first time in a number of years, I think the last uh, century goal kicker was uh, David Hams from the Wollonga Football Club. I think that was back in 2008. Was that right, Kevin? Ten, was it? Oh, well, he probably won a few more too. But uh, it's been a long break between centuries. And uh, I've got to say that uh, Tommy Penyon did a fantastic job with 112 goals, getting 23 goals in the last two rounds. Fantastic effort. Um, thanks everyone for coming tonight. Uh, obviously thanks to the Compass Footy Club. Um, wouldn't want to play anywhere else. Thanks to Gows and the coaching staff. Obviously thanks to all my teammates, all the boys. And uh, you've got to thank the missus for all the coaching all year. Cheers. Tommy's taking any donations for a new pair of jeans as well. Congratulations. I'd now like to call upon uh, Andrew English from the South Adelaide Football Club to present the Club Award, Club of the Year Award. This year it was won by the Wollonga Football Club. I think Ben Baxter is in the audience and he's going to come and accept the uh, trophy and shield and uh, banner. Ben Baxter. Uh, my name's Andrew English, I'm the uh, Deputy Chair of the um, South Adelaide Football Club. Um, I'd like to congratulate the Greater Southern Football League on another fantastic season. Um, I often find myself going to games in the country and it's a fantastic atmosphere at our footy games. Um, Gordon, who I met about five years ago, welcomed me uh, into the culture of the Great Southern Football League and I'm very grateful to him for all of the introductions that I've received over the last few years and um, I just love your brand of footy. It is absolutely fantastic and I really love um, your sense of community as well. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about how South have been going um, this year. Of course, Jared Wright, um, our coach, our senior coach is, um, is here tonight. Um, we came sixth this year, just missed out. Um, we were um, playing for much of the season uh, with our hand, left hand tied behind our back as a result of the mid-season AFL draft, which flogged our number one ruckman halfway through the season. Um, and uh, he was very carefully recruited and brought over from Victoria. Not much AFL interest until he started playing for South Adelaide and then was best on ground in the uh, match against Western Australia which immediately attracted the attention of the um, Sydney Swans but it was very much Jared and his, and his team's um, ability to be able to bring Michael Knoll on that resulted in him having such an outstanding season as a ruckman um, and ultimately um, being seen as a unique talent by the AFL. Um, congratulations on the way in which um, uh, the Greater Southern Footy League um, has been developing its players. Of course, two players from the Greater Southern Footy League um, were drafted. Um, Nathan Kruger, who you would know, uh, and Young Tarka, of course, have uh, already made their mark. In Geelong, they're already calling Kruger Freddy. Um, and uh, the coach of Geelong has made it pretty plain that um, He's someone who is very likely to be seeing AFL football next year. And he's been playing very, very well. So there is a pathway for all of you young men and women um, to uh, make it into the AFL through the South Adelaide Footy Club. Um, and we very much see ourselves as part of the Southern community. We want to assist your league and the Southern Football League for that matter as much as we possibly can. 
We really appreciate everything that the administration of both leagues put into um, community football. Um, you know, uh, back in 2011, uh, Ron Fuller, who was then the coach of South Adelaide, um, we'd made the finals, we'd done quite well, um, and uh, he was asked what the secret of success was. And he said, well, the truth of the matter is that of the 20 that went out into the finals, unfortunately only four uh, were from uh, the local Southern Footy League or the Great Southern Footy League and the Kangaroo Island Footy League. Four people. Well, that's not the case anymore. Um, we now, our, our ranks are absolutely swelling with the talent, the really significant talent that exists in the Greater Southern Footy League and the Southern Footy League. Um, four years ago, I gave an award to Ben Heaslip from Encounter Bay. It was his first year with South. He played a handful of games. Now he's part of our leadership group and a really, really fine uh, SANFL footballer. But you can look at our lists at the moment, both league and reserves, uh, and you will see the Great Southern Football League, the Southern Football League, and the Kangaroo Island Football League now figuring very, very prominently um, in the South Adelaide football team. And it is one of the reasons why I'm very confident going forward whilst we haven't had a lot of premiership success, um, that in the very, very near future, with our under-18s burning and our reserves burning and our um, league now really laden with footy players locally, I think we're going to do very, very well indeed and I'm looking forward to the next couple of years um, under Jared's leadership. But anyway, congratulations, mate. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. So it's not often I get to address you all, so I thought I'd have a bit of a spiel. Thank you. Okie dokes. Um, firstly, uh, thanks Andrew for uh, those kind words. I think it's uh, really important. Um, I know for a fact since uh, Mitch has come on board, we've really made a uh, beyond the scenes, we made a statement uh, amongst ourselves at Wollonga it's all about getting uh, more players out at uh, South Adelaide. We went through a period there where we had plenty out and then last 10 years we've had bugger all. So um, we kind of really want to change that and that's what we're doing. Roddy and Griff, thanks for coming tonight. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let's get behind the Panthers. Let's get as many juniors out there as possible because, you know, obviously if it, if it works, it works. As we all know, if it doesn't, they all come back and it makes, makes our club better. But uh, as for uh, the Panthers, let's get beyond them. Thank you. Um, moving on. Uh, yes, yeah, so obviously, uh, thanks to Wollonga Footy Club for... Um, actually, no, I'll go to Great Southern first. Uh, Cork, Corks and the lads for uh, running, running Great Southern. Yeah, we're, well, I'd like to think everybody in this room's pretty... Uh, Pretty happy with how the league's running. Um, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure other leagues are a little bit envious of us. Um, perfect competition, 10 team comp, um, five five team finals, and we're all pretty bloody competitive. And uh, most of us are pretty good blokes, so um, that's pretty good. Um, to Wollonga Footy Club, yeah. So you know, so this awards kind of well, it is. It's on. Um, on-field performance, so obviously on-field performance is all great, you know, players, uh, tonight's all about the players as well, but you know, like, uh, I think it's really important, yeah, the players get their, get their moment, you know, and they get so many pats on the back and so forth like that, but this award is really about the volunteers, you know, this is my first year as Prez, and um, I've been on the committee for a few years, but, you know, it really hits home that uh, how much volunteers, you know, the canine girls and boys, uh, the Barbie, Cher, the gay, all, all, all that, all those volunteers. So, yeah, I, I just want to thank the volunteers more than the players, really. Um, the players, players are the lucky ones that uh, get to play on Saturday, and I reckon... 
you know, they reckon it's, uh, they get a bit of fun out of it. The volunteers may be working in the canine for 12 hours a day. I don't know whether they get as much fun. But, um, so, special thanks to the volunteers. Sponsors, uh, sponsor at Wollonga, uh, Wood and Logs down at uh, Old Nolunga, Burnie, uh, heaps of firewood, pergolas, decks. Uh, Wollonga Water Utilities, um, they, uh, what do they do? They um, re recycled water for all the vineyards, they're pretty good. And obviously Trove Property Management, uh, Trove Property Management, um, they also uh, provide a pretty good um, service. So in that, I'd uh, like to thank everybody, any winners tonight, congratulations. If you are fortunate enough to get up here for the players, thank your sponsors, thank the volunteers. Don't worry about your players, they get plenty of pats on the back. Um, and uh, best luck for the finals. Thank you, Benny. You do me out of a job. Okay, well here's uh, the volunteers and everyone. I mean, you think now's the time to thank the players and especially the player of the year being the the uh, male medalist. So we'll start the count as we speak. Okay, round one. Yankalilla versus my Ponga Selix. One vote, Yankalilla, Jesse Fitzgerald. Two votes, Yankalilla, Jacob Labber. Three votes, Yankalilla, Trent Kelly. Victor Harbour versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Leslie Wheater. Wheater. Victor Harbour. Two votes, Todd Price, Strathalbyn. Three votes, Clint Alloway, Victor Harbour. Langhorns Creek versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Callum Tonkin, Encounter Bay. Two votes, Tyson Neal in Counter Bay. Three votes, Patrick Barrett in Counter Bay. Wollonga versus Mount Compass. One vote, Wollonga, Sean Beath. Two votes, Ziggy Vitunas, Mount Compass. Three votes, Michael Corbett, Mount Compass. Gula versus, Gula Port Elliot versus McLaren. One vote, James Matthews, McLaren. Two, jo two votes, Joel Vandeleur, McLaren. Three votes, Brett Ellis, McLaren. <laughs> Round two. My, my Ponga Selix versus Wollonga. One vote, Tyson Hoffman, Wollonga. Two votes, Sean Beath, Wollonga. Three votes, Daniel Bass, Wollonga. Encounter Bay versus Yankalilla. One vote, Tyson Neal, Encounter Bay. Two votes, Callum Tompkin, Encounter Bay. Three votes, Xavier Gotch, Yankalilla. Mount Compass versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Clint Alloway, Victor Harbour. Two votes, Braden Ritter, Mount Compass. Three votes, Stephen Copestick, Mount Compass. Strathalbyn versus Gula Port Elliot. One vote, Mark Elliott, Strathalbyn. Two votes, Mark Tucker, Strathalbyn. Three votes, Todd Marsh, Gula Port Elliot. Lang McLaren versus Langhorns Creek. One vote, Brett Ellis, McLaren. Two votes, Jared Kerlock, Langhorns Creek. Three votes, James Seller, Langhorns Creek. Round three, Langhorns Creek versus Strathalbyn. Curtis Perry, Langhorns Creek. One vote. Two votes, Angus Lally, Langhorns Creek. Three votes, James Seller, Langhorns Creek. Wollonga versus McLaren. William Gregory, McLaren, one vote. Two votes, Sean Beath, Wollonga. Three votes, Brett Ellis, McLaren. 
Victor Harbour versus Encounter Bay. Jack McKay, Victor Harbour, one vote. Two votes, Benjamin Yeomans, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Luke Davey, Victor Harbour. Yankalilla versus Gore Port Elliot. One vote, Ryan Fisher, Yankalilla. Two votes, Daniel Fry, Gore Port Elliot. Three votes, Benjamin McConnell, Yankalilla. Mount Compass versus Selick, my Punga Selix. Ziggy Vitkunis. Mount, sorry, Ziggy. <laughs> Mount Compass, one vote. Two votes, Braden Ritter, Mount Compass. Three votes, Stephen Copestick, Mount Compass. Round four. McLaren versus Mount Compass. Cody Ellison, McLaren, one vote. Stephen Copestick, Mount Compass, two votes. Three votes, Viggy, Ziggy, Vitkunis, Mount Compass. Gura Port Elliot versus Victor Harbour. James Fry, Gura Port Elliot, one vote. Two votes, Sam Basham, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Leslie Wietra, Victor Harbour. Encounter Bay versus Wollonga. One vote, Tyson Neal, Encounter Bay. Two votes, Daniel Bass, Wollonga. Three votes, Sean Beath, Wollonga. Yankalilla versus Langhorns Creek. One vote, Curtis Perry, Langhorns Creek. Two votes, Xavier Gotch, Yankalilla. Three votes, Yankalilla, John O'Lee. My Ponga Selix versus Strath Album. Brady O'Hallon, My Ponga, one vote. Two votes, Ethan Bell, Strath Album. Three votes, Todd Price, Strath Album. Round five, Wollonga versus Yankalilla. Daniel Bass, three vote, one vote, sorry. Two votes, Bretton Eagle, Wollonga. Three votes, Sean Beath, Wollonga. Langhorns Creek versus Goulburn, Vic, Port Elliot. One vote, Thomas Neville, Goulburn, Port Elliot. Two votes, Scott Paul, Goulburn, Port Elliot. Three votes, James Seller, Langhorns Creek. Strathalbyn versus McLaren. Richard O'Grady, Strathalbyn, one vote. Two votes, Brendan Gill, McLaren. Three votes, Cody Ellison, McLaren. Mount Compass versus Encounter Bay. Callum Tompkin, Encounter Bay, one vote. Two votes, Stephen Copstick, Mount Compass. Three votes, Tarek Illingworth, Encounter Bay. Victor Harbour versus My Ponga Selix. Josh Donahue, My Ponga Selix, one vote. Two votes, Ben Basham, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Ryan Fletcher, Victor Harbour. Round six. Strathalbyn versus Mount Compass. Adam Hunter, Mount Compass, one vote. Two votes, Tom McNamara, Strathalbyn. Three votes, Mark Elliott, Strathalbyn. Gula Port Elliot versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Tyler Bordock, Encounter Bay. Two votes, Daniel Fry, Gula Port Elliot. Three votes, Tyson Neal, Encounter Bay. Victor Harbour versus Yankalilla. One vote, Michael Ross, Victor Harbour. Two votes, v Billy Wade, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Benjamin Yeomans, Victor Harbour. My Ponga Selix versus McLaren. James Matthews, McLaren, one vote. Brendan Gill, McLaren, two votes. Brett Ellis, McLaren, three votes. Langhorns Creek versus Willunga, one vote. Caleb Howe, Langhorns Creek, two votes. Timothy Boyd, Willunga, three votes. Bradley Haskett, Willunga. Round seven, Wollonga versus Gula Port Elliot. One vote, Bradley Haskett, Wollonga. Two votes, 
Jake Stanfield, Willunga. Three votes, Daniel Bass, Willunga. Yankalilla versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Todd Price, Strathalbyn. Two votes, Jacob Labber, Yankalilla. Three votes, Mark Elliott, Strathalbyn. McLaren versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Michael Ross, Victor Harbour. Two votes, Benjamin Yeomans, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Clint Alloway, Victor Harbour. Encounter Bay versus Maiponga Selix. Damon Hill, Maiponga, one vote. Thomas Bones, Encounter Bay, two votes. Callum, Callum Tonkin, Encounter Bay, three votes. Mount Compass versus Langhorns Creek. One vote, Stephen Copstick, Mount Compass. Two votes, Caleb Howe, Langhorns Creek. Three votes, James Seller, Langhorns Creek. Round eight. Victor Harbour versus Wollonga. One vote, Clint Alloway, Victor Harbour. Two votes, Tyson Hoffman, Wollonga. Three votes, Sean Beath, Wollonga. Strathalbyn versus Encounter Bay. Mark Elliott, Strathalbyn, one vote. Two votes, Callum Tompkin, Encounter Bay. Three votes, Mark Tucker, Strathalbyn. McLaren versus Yankalilla. One vote, Evan Williams, McLaren. Two votes, Xavier Gotch, Yankalilla. Three votes, Joshua w Wilson, th Yankalilla. Maiponga Selix versus Langhorns Creek. One vote, Caleb Howe, Langhorns Creek. Two votes, Josh Donahue, Maiponga. Three votes, Angus Atlally, Langhorns Creek. Mount Compass versus Goula Port Elliot. One vote, Adam Hunter, Mount Compass. Two votes, Tom Pinion, Mount Compass. Three votes, Ziggy Vitkunis, Mount Compass. Round nine. Y Yankalilla Compass. One vote, Stephen Copstick, Mount Compass. Two votes, Ziggy Vitkunis. Mount Compass. Three votes, Peter Hoban, Mount Compass. Langhorns Creek versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Curtis Perry, Langhorns Creek. Two votes, Michael Ross, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Sam Bashan, Victor Harbour. Wollonga versus Strathalbyn. One vote, Richard O'Grady, Strathalbyn. Two votes, Tyson Hoffman, Wollonga. Three votes, Sean Beath, Wollonga. Encounter Bay versus McLaren. James Matthews, McLaren, one vote. Two votes, Tyler Baldock, Encounter Bay. Three votes, Brett Ellis, McLaren. Gore Port Elliott versus my Componga Selix. Brock Godin, not Gore Port Elliott, one vote. Two votes, Daniel Fry, Goulburn, Port Elliot. Three votes, Ethan Schick. Sink, sorry. Sorry, Ethan, my apologies. Goulburn, Port Elliot, three votes. That's about the halfway mark, so how are we going? The leaderboard. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Round ten. My Ponga Selix versus Yankalilla. One vote, Campbell Bellamy, Yankalilla. Two votes, John Hinge, Yankalilla. Three votes, Zach Edwards, Yankalilla. Strathalbyn versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Cooper Machen, Strathalbyn. Two votes, Michael Ross, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Ben Simmons, Strathalbyn. Encounter Bay versus Langhorns Creek. 
One vote, Nicholas Marshall in Canter Bay. Two votes, Tyson Neal in Canter Bay. Three votes, Tarek Illingworth in Canter Bay. Mount Compass versus Willunga. One vote, Sam Alec, Alex Opolos. Or Sammy A as we like to call him, because it's easier. Willunga. Two votes, Ziggy Vitkunas, Mount Compass. Three votes, Daniel Bass, Willunga. McLaren versus Gould Port Elliot. Joel Vandeleur, Mount uh, McLaren. One vote. Two votes, Brett Ellis, McLaren. Three votes, Jess Watchman, McLaren. <laughs> Round 11, Willunga versus Maiponga Selix. One vote, Bradley Haskett, Willunga. Two votes, Braden Altus, Willunga. Three votes, Daniel Bass, Willunga. Yankalilla versus Encounter Bay. One vote, Tyson Neal in Counter Bay. Two votes, Adam Bradler, Bradler, sorry. Brandler, sorry, I beg your pardon. Yankalilla. Three votes, Joshua Wilson, Yankalilla. Victor Harper versus Mount Compass. Ziggy Vitkunis, McLaren, one vote. Oh, sorry. I'll start again. Sorry, Ziggy, you just don't know transfer. <laughs> Mount Compass. Two votes, Thomas Vitkunis, Mount Compass. Three votes, Shane Healy, Heatley, rather, Mount Compass. Gould Port Elliott versus Strathalbyn. Ben Simmons, one vote, Strathalbyn. Two votes, Brock Goodwin, not Gould Port Elliott. Three votes, Mark Elliott, Strathalbyn. Langhorns Creek versus McLaren. One vote, Jess Watchman, McLaren. Two votes, James Seller, Langhorns Creek. Three votes, Jared Kellock, Langhorns Creek. Round 12. Encounter Bay versus Victor Harbour. Ken Campbell, Encounter Bay, one vote. Two votes, Sam Basham, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Jack McKay, Victor Harbour. Strathalbyn versus Langhorns Creek. Matthew Dominish, Langhorns Creek, one vote. Two votes, Kobe Haler, Langhorns Creek. Three votes, Ben Arben, Langhorns Creek. McLaren versus Willunga, one vote. Billy Cook, Willunga. Two votes, James Matthews, McLaren. Three votes, Daniel Bass, Willunga. Gould Port, Port Elliot versus Willunga, uh, beg your pardon. Gould Port Elliot versus Yankalilla. One vote, Jacob Labor, Yankalilla. Two votes, James Fry, Gould Port Elliot. Three votes, Brock Goodwin, not Gould Port Elliot. My Ponga Selix versus Mount Compass. One vote, Josh Donahue, my Ponga Selix. Two votes, Ziggy Vitkunis, Mount Compass. Three votes, Tom Pinion, Mount Compass. Round 13. Mount Compass versus McLaren. One vote, Peter Hoban, Mount Compass. Two votes, James Matthews, McLaren. Three votes, Brett Ellis, McLaren. Victor Harbour versus Gould Port Elliot. LJ Connors, Victor Harbour, one vote. Sam Bashan, Victor Harbour, two votes. Benjamin Yeomans, Victor Harbour, three votes. Wollonga versus Encounter Bay, Braden, one vote, Braden Atlas. Altus, sorry. Altus. Wollonga. Two votes, Tyson Hoffman, Wollonga. Three votes, Billy Cook, Wollonga. Langhorns Creek versus Yankalilla. 
One vote, James Seller, Langhorns Creek. Two votes, Angus Lally, Langhorns Creek. Three votes, Caleb Howe, Langhorns Creek. Strathalbyn versus Mopunga Selix. One vote, Sam Elliott, Strathalbyn. Two votes, Mark Elliott, Strathalbyn. Three votes, Ben Simmons, Strathalbyn. Round 14. Yankalula versus Wollonga. One vote, Bradley Haskett, Wollonga. Two votes, Xavier Gotch, Yankalilla. Three votes, Daniel Bass, Wollonga. Gore, Port Elliot versus Langhorns Creek. One vote, Matthew Dominish, Langhorns Creek. Two votes, Kobe Hellyer from Langhorns Creek. Three votes, James Seller, Langhorns Creek. McLaren versus Strathalbyn. Richard O'Grady, Strathalbyn, one vote. Two votes, Brad James, Strathalbyn. Three votes, Mark Tucker, Strathalbyn. Encounter Bay versus Mount Compass. One vote, Peter Hoban, Mount Compass. Two votes, Tom Pinion, Mount Compass. Three votes, Vit Ziggy Vitkunis, Mount Compass. My Ponga Selix versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Jake Spinks, My Ponga. Two votes, Leslie Wietra, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Clint Alloway, Victor Harbour. Round 15. Mount Compass versus Strathalbyn. Mark Elliott, Strathalbyn, one vote. Two votes, Michael Corbett, Mount Compass. Three votes, Stephen Copestick, Mount Compass. Encounter Bay versus Gould, Port Elliot. One vote, Nicholas Marshall, Encounter Bay. Two votes, Tyler Baldock, Encounter Bay. Three votes, Thomas Bones, Encounter Bay. Yankalilla versus Victor Harbour. One vote, Leslie Wietra. Victor Harbour. Two votes, Benjamin Yeomans, Victor Harbour. Three votes, Brock Schubert, Victor Harbour. McLaren versus Maiponga Selix. One vote, James Matthews, McLaren. Two votes, Max Wakefield, McLaren. Three votes, Lachlan Matthews, McLaren. Wollonga versus Langhorns Creek. One vote, Matthew Dominish, Langhorns Creek. Two votes, Daniel Bass, Wollonga. Three votes, James Seller, Langhorns Creek. Round 16. Goolwa Port Elliot versus Wollonga. One vote, James Fry, Goolwa Port Elliot. Two votes, Cameron Hutchins, Wollonga. Three votes, Bradley Haskett, Wollonga. Strathalbyn versus Yankalilla. One vote, Richard O'Grady, Strathalbyn. Two votes, Ben Simmons, Strathalbyn. Three votes, John O'Lee, Yankalilla. Victor Harbour versus McLaren. One vote, Lachlan Matthews, McLaren. Two votes, Cody Ellison, McLaren. Three votes. Brett Ellis, McLaren. My Ponga Selix versus Encounter Bay. One vote. Patrick Barrett, Encounter Bay. Two votes. Callum Tonkin, Encounter Bay. Three votes. Jack Crispin, Encounter Bay. Langhorns Creek versus Mount Compass. One vote, Adam Hunter, Mount Compass. Two votes, Lachlan McGregor, Langhorns Creek. Three votes, Angus Lally, Langhorns Creek. We'll go to a leaderboard with two more rounds to go. Round 17. Wollonga versus Victor Harbour. 
Michael Ross, one vote. Victor Harbour. Two votes. Sam Basham, Victor Harbour. Three votes. Daniel Bass, Wollonga. Encounter Bay versus Strathalbyn. Todd Price, Strathalbyn, one vote. Two votes. Richard O'Grady, Strathalbyn. Three votes. Ben Simmons, Strathalbyn. Yankalilla versus McLaren. Xavier Gotch, one vote. Yankalilla. Two votes. William Gregory, McLaren. Three votes. Heath Lambert, McLaren. Langhorns Creek versus My Ponga Selix. One vote, My Ponga, Jake Spinks. Two votes, Langhorns Creek, Matthew Dominish. Three votes, Langhorns Creek, Tom Durham. Gould Port Elliott versus Mount Compass. One vote, Mount Compass, Stephen Copestick. Two votes, Mount Compass, Tom Pinion. Three votes, Mount Compass, Peter Hoban. <laughs> Round 18. Mount Compass versus Yankalilla. One vote, Mount Compass, Tom Pinion. Two votes, Mount Compass, Stephen Copestick. Three votes, Mount Compass, Ziggy Vitzkunas. Victor Harbour versus Langhorn Creek. One vote. Langhorns Creek, Troy Blackwell. Two votes. Victor Harbour, Michael Ross. Three votes. Langhorns Creek, James Seller. Strathalbyn versus Wollonga. One vote. Wollonga, Sean Beath. Two votes. Wollonga, Bradley Haskett. Three votes, Wollonga, Sam Alec Obelis. <laughs> McLaren versus Encounter Bay. One vote, McLaren, Heath Lambert. Two votes, Encounter Bay, Callum Tonkin. Three votes, McLaren, Brett Ellis. <laughs> My Ponga versus, My Ponga Salix versus Gula Port Elliott. One vote, Gula, Todd Marsh. Two votes, Waiponga, Bradley Clark. Three votes, Gula, Ryan Griffin. That completes the count for 2019, and I declare Daniel Belunga the winner on 26 votes, with, with a tie for second with Brett Allison, James Seller from Langhorn, McLaren and Langhorn Street, respectively. We just have uh, Scott Walsh from the Sunday Mail to present the medal to Daniel Bass from Wollonga. Thanks very much, everyone. Um, it's quite an honour to, I guess, win this award in such a uh, great competition, um, one of the strongest, I reckon, in Australia. So um, well done to, I reckon, everyone that's involved in running the whole uh, Great Southern League. Um, I've really enjoyed um, being a part of Wollonga for the last couple of years. Um, they've really welcomed me with open arms. Um, I didn't really know what I was going to do with myself two years ago, I guess, finishing up at South um, in Wollonga. Uh, we're really keen to get me involved. Um, so th thanks, guys. I've really had a great time the last couple of years um, and looking to continue um, late into the finals. So um, 
good luck to, I guess, everyone who's still in the finals this uh, coming month. And, um, yeah, go longer. I'd like you to be upstanding if you could and charge your glasses. Just waiting for a couple more champagne glasses to come up. Here's cheers to the 2019 male medalist, Daniel Bass. Excuse me. You're not allowed anymore because you're playing. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'd like to thank you, everybody, for their attendance tonight. It would be remiss of me not to uh, mention some things about the Great Southern Football League and their development of association football and zone football. I'd like to thank uh, Peter Galbraith, the coach of Mount Compass, who's also the state uh, or the South Australian Country Championship zone coach and our association coach. Did a fantastic job with the guys, putting a team together uh, and all the players who represented the Great Southern Football League, the Southern District zone team this year with great pride. Um, to Peter Galbraith, did a fantastic job, worked very hard to get the team together, get them enthused, and uh, we got back the Barry Pilmore Cup, and uh, next year we're looking forward to keeping that, and also bringing home the zone trophy as well. So thank you very much, Peter, and to the rest of the other people involved. I'd like to thank you all for your attendance tonight. I think it's been a great result for everybody and uh, I'm looking forward to a great final series. Unfortunately, I won't be during, here during the final series. Um, my wife and I are going to France for five weeks as punishment and uh, I'll be seeing the... I'll be here this Saturday and Sunday but after that I've, I've pulled a couple of people to do a bit of work. Herman Lucas, Kevin of course and I've pulled uh, Gordon Tonkin off the, off the bench He's going to come in and help as well, so uh, there'll be plenty of entertainment, I'm sure. So I wish all of the teams competing in the grand finals, finals and grand finals, in all grades. Uh, I think it's going to be a very tight final in all grades as well. So I wish every team the best of luck. To all the volunteers and coaches, team managers, uh, runners, everyone. I, pr I, I think uh, Benny Baxter covered most people anyway. but. Uh, Thank you very much for your attendance tonight. Enjoy a few drinks afterwards and congratulations to all the trophy winners. Thank you.